Welcome to Digital Asset News, taking top stories in crypto and breaking them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, instead of talking about the news, I want to give a real quick overview of how to stake your MELD tokens. And if you're not aware, uh, MELD did their ISPO, their initial stake pool offering, uh, a couple months ago, uh, many months ago, actually. And you could take your ADA and you could stake it into one of their numerous pools and they would pay you in rewards for the MELD token. Now that is over. They've done the uh, airdrop, took only four hours to complete, and uh, everything's uh, on the up and up. Now the question is, what are you gonna do with those MELD tokens? Do you wanna sell them all? Do you wanna do something as far as like an arbitrage? Or do you wanna stake them? Well, if you wanna stake them, then this is the video for you. So let me show you exactly how that is. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's just take a look at where you need to go first, and that is to MELD.com. First of all, let me minimize myself. This is where you want to go to, meld.com. And you see over here, it's got why meld and how it works and about us. Just click on app. And when you click on app, it's going to take you to your wallets. And it's going to allow you to link two different wallets, actually one wallet, I should say. And that's the NAMI wallet. MetaMask wallet is coming soon. NAMI wallet, uh, they will allow you to connect that and to stake your meld tokens. Now, the question is, well, how do I do that? Well, before we get into that, let me just show you, this is how much you can earn as far as for staking your MELD tokens. If you want to do six months, uh, you can earn uh, 12%. That's pretty good for six months. Or you can go 12 months and you can earn an APY of 15% right there. Me personally, uh, I'm just going to go for the six months because I don't understand the whole thing between 12 and 15. I know there's a bonus if you complete the whole 12 months, but uh, that is what they have. And also, uh, be aware that this is not like Cardano where you can stake and unstake at any time. There's a six month lock period and a 12 month lock period. And that means it is locked. So that is the criteria for meld. Now, if you notice my wallet's pretty good, I got almost half a million, uh, nice little staking that I did there with my ADA. But if you take, come over here, there's the wallet section. And this is where you would connect your NAMI wallet. So the question is, why do I do that? Because I don't have a NAMI wallet. Well, it's pretty simple. You're just going to go to namiwallet.io. And I have the link of that in the description. I send this to you so you don't do something goofy, like go through the Chrome uh, extension and just search for NAMI because there's a good chance that there's a ton of different uh, spammers and hackers that probably have a NAMI type wallet out there. And if you download the wrong one, then uh, it'll take all your NAMI and all your Cardano and everything else is just awful. So uh, don't do something like that. Go to the official website, click on the official links and go from there, namiwallet.io. So you can click, you know, what browser you have, that's where it's going to download it to. And uh, for me, uh, I've got it on Brave, so I'll just click on Brave Edge. I mean, sure, use Edge. Uh, and then it'll download. And then you'll see up here in the upper right-hand corner, that's my Nami wallet. And when I click on that, that's the Dan nami wall and that's how you do it and it just it sits in there in your browser now remember it's going to uh you're going to have to write down your your seed phrase your password phrase make sure you you write that down and keep it somewhere safe because that is essentially the keys to your wallet so just make sure that you do those types of things so for nami the next question is well i have nami up so first of all how did rob get all his almost half a million meld tokens over to this Brave wallet. So I don't know what wallet you're using, but me personally, uh, I use this wallet called Daedalus and it works out great. And uh, it, the problem is, is that you have to download the whole, the whole blockchain and it's like you're, you're running a node essentially. So uh, I like it though, because it's, uh, it's reliable and it's, it's much, I just like it it's safe. Now you can use um, you know, other types of wallets for uh, Cardano or ADA, but this is the one that I use. But the principle is the same. They airdropped you those meld tokens to whatever wallet that you use to stake your Cardano or your ADA. So if you use Yoroi, if you used ADA Lite, uh, Ami, I guess, or in my situation, ADA, I delegated my ADA wallet. So what I'm gonna do is I, if I wanted to send, send my meld tokens that I got the airdrop to, I would click on the send button and it, it doesn't matter what wallet it is. It's all the same stuff. You're gonna send it somewhere. So it's gonna ask you for an address. What's the address? Well, the address, you go to NAMI, NAMI wallet, and it's gonna say, hey, there's a button right here that says receive, I'll receive. And then it's gonna say, this is your particular or your public address, right? There's a difference between public and private. Public, you can blast it out anywhere you want to. Uh, you can put it on 
whatever website you want to. And people will can give it to you. Now, your private uh, address is something only for you. So just be aware that there's a two differences. This I can put anywhere. I'm going to copy this. I copy that address. I'm going to leave that up. If you want to send me a, a Cardano Ada, go right ahead. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to paste that address. Bam! Just like that. And then it's going to say, okay, well, do you, are you sending ADA or are you trying to do another type of thing? So click, see where it says add a token, add a token. And then there's a drop down. And you see where it's got all these different things. It's got like, well, it's got stars because you can't see it. But uh, underneath here, it says meld in little, little, <clears throat> little terms. Let me, let me so you can see this. So here it says like one, 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 five, half a million meld over here, 500,000 meld. So this is, I would click on this. And it says, oh, you want to send a meld. And again, any wallet doesn't matter. So yeah, I want to send, and I always do this every time because I, I want to make sure this doesn't screw up. So I will send a small transaction. In this case, like meld right now is for 16 cents. So I'll send like 50, just 50, just to make sure that it actually goes through. And I'm going to click on, because it says there's a minimum of one ADA required. That's like the gas fees, you know, if you're familiar with uh, Ethereum. So one, and it says, oh, you got to have 1.34. Okay, here was 1.4, whatever. So then I'm going to click on uh, send. And then it's going to ask me for the password. And it's going to say, hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to send your 50 meld uh, to the, and you put in your password, whatever that is when you set up your wallet? And away it goes. I'm not going to do that because I've already done another almost half a million over there. So I'm not going to do that. But that's how you would transfer your meld tokens anyplace else. Also, one more thing. Uh, just to make uh, to make mention of, just make sure that uh, when you do this, just double check the address because you do not want this to go uh, to the wrong place. So double check, send a small transaction, then go for bigger transactions. I personally did 50, then 10,000, then I did a bunch of 100,000 transactions because uh, I am crazy and I don't want to lose my crypto. So that's what we have. That's what we use for uh, the Cardano wallet. Now everything's over here in NAMI, right? And we're all good. And real quick, let's go over the NAMI wallet just so everybody knows. NAMI wallet, <clears throat> with, on the upper right-hand corner, there's this little robot-looking thing. You can click on that. This is, you can uh, name in, in the settings, in the general settings, you can name your wallet, dark mode, USD in Europe. You can reset your wallet. I don't want to do that. Uh, whitelisted sites network underneath here there's a there's a button to click between mainnet and testnet if you're going to do anything with the testnet like like sunday swap or something like that you would click on testnet but of course we're on the main it doesn't matter there's a thing here called custom node that's if you want to link nami to your daedalus wallet you have to download some things uh, from iohk i am not going to get into that in this video but if you're welcome to have fun with that i just not going to do it apparently it speeds things up but i don't really care so we're back here and then delegate, send, and off we go. So here's the thing. We have everything that we want to. Oh, and then there is, sorry, there is one more thing. Uh, if you want to delegate to a stake pool, the only stake pool you can delegate to is Barry. And that is the stake pool that is for uh, the people who created uh, NAMI. You can do that. There's another way to stake to other pools, but you need to go to a specific website for each pool and do it. I don't know why they did that, but that's that's what it is. And there's one more important thing. It's called delegation. So over here, or sorry, collateral. This is important. Uh, first, you can connect your hardware wall if you want to. I don't want to. Collateral. So collateral, this is what allows you to interact with smart contracts. If you don't set this up, things could fail. And what they did this, they did this as like a fail safe because a lot of different smart contracts, some uh, are mischievous and they are there to wipe you out. So if you put this collateral amount in for five ADA, you're usually, from what I understand, you're usually safe for when you interact with these uh, malicious smart contracts and they only take five ADA. And that's why you're supposed to have collateral in that way. So I set that up in that way. Also, I think it uh, helps out with transactions. So this should work. We will find out because uh, I want to do this uh, in one shot. So we're going to go back to meld.com, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to go over here. I got my ADA. And also make sure you have a little bit of ADA, at least 50 uh, in your wallet. So you can uh, do all the things you want to do as far as uh, staking and things like that. It's, you just have to have it. It's kind of like ether and gas. I'm going to pick six months. And I'm going to click on stake now. Great. And it's going to say, how much do you want to stake? And I'm going to click maximum. 
which is, wow, oh, 491,000, of course. And then, uh, so my daily rewards, hey, it's pretty good. 161 meld, yeah, I like that. And just so you know, note in six months pool, you can do just one stake. Once you stake, it's locked for six months. You will not be able to add more tokens to this pool after submitting, submitting, nor withdraw it. So know what you are doing. And here's where it all comes down to. Because I've been uh, waiting to do this for today. I'm excited because a lot of people said, I have problems with this, Rob, and, and it wouldn't work. And there was some congestion. So they told me, okay, make sure that you have, you know, at least uh, 50 Cardano in your wallet. Also make sure that the, uh, that uh, uh, smart contract uh, for delegation uh, that is is there. We have at least five, which we did, and it should work out pretty well. I'm holding my breath. Maybe it'll work and we'll see, but if not, we'll just keep doing it until it does work and let's go. So we're going to click on continue. Creating. Okay. Great. That's pretty good. That took like 10 seconds. Transaction fee, 255, just so you know. Base ABY 12%, daily rewards 161, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now I'm going to click on confirm. This should go through. Let's find out. And then this is going to pop up. Hey, man, this L per card is signature for negative two and a half. That's why you have to have Cardano. Okay, and I'm going to say, yes, I will sign that. I'm going to enter my password, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, five, six. Confirm. And now we'll see if it goes through. Holy smokes. Transaction submitted. And now here we are. Okay, so yeah, I don't think that's it because it's still spinning. And even though it's uh, it says ends on August 7th, which would uh, indicate that uh, have, the time has been locked in. Let me do some quick math. Yeah, something like that. So the thing that I would also check is uh, over here in the wallet, you can take a look here that the meld is still in this wallet, in the NAMI wallet. If you take a look at stats and activity, uh, you can see, just like I told you, you know, all the different transactions I did before, I did 0 0.001 <laughs> and then 165 and then I, you know, went baller and went 100,000, 200,000 and so on and so forth. Because in the beginning, I don't want to lose any, any uh, meld just to make sure it works. And it did work, but I don't see where it's actually been straight up delegated because I'm still waiting. And then also if I click on NAMI, I'm pretty sure that my meld tokens are still there. So that means that it, it's going through the process, probably congestion, and that's what's going on. So hope it doesn't take too long, but I know that a lot of people got stuck in just when they were went to confirm the transaction, it wouldn't go any farther. So at least we made it that far. And that okay, so quick update. I was on Twitter last night and I asked the question, hey, how can I verify when meld has been staked? Because I clearly can't find anything and keep spinning. Someone just said, just refresh your page, which I did. And look at that, the little circle uh, went away and it looks like I'm staking for six months, uh, almost half a million uh, worth of meld. And when I take a look, actually, uh, on the stats over here on the wallet, I can see that meld is, there's no meld uh, right now. If I take a look at NAMI, because it's it's connected, but I want to just double check. Eight is there, NAMI is not, I mean, uh, meld is not. And then over here, if I take a look at the, on the wallet, it says stats. When I click on stats, I can take a look at how long it took. Well, this was on February 7th, which I'm recording this uh, the next day. And that was done at 18, 12 hours or roughly 6 p.m., which is right on right on the timeline because last night I started the uh, the uh, recording around 5 p.m. So yeah, if that ever happens to you, uh, then yes, you just want to make sure that you refresh the page. And then uh, real quick, if we take a look at, because this is the big question, well, how much are we going to make for the staking? I mean, 12% sounds cool, but what does that break down into like, like a daily uh, type of uh, yield. And that's actually the easiest part because all we gotta do is it like even tells us like, look, you're gonna get 161 meld tokens every single day for staking roughly half a million uh, meld tokens. So the question then is, well, how much is meld uh, right now? It's it's bouncing around between like uh, 18, 19 cents to 13 cents or so. So we'll just say it's around 15 cents just for this exercise. And if we take a look, whip out the old calculator and we say, okay, look, uh, 161 meld tokens times 0.15. That's going to give us roughly around 24, 25 bucks, somewhere around that a day. Now, meld could go up dramatically or it could fall to the ground. Who knows? So right now we're looking at around $25. Uh, now, how did they get there? Just do some do some double checks. 491,978 
times the yield, the annual percentage yield, and that's annually, well, you would get 12%, but we're only staking for six months. So we get half of that, which is which that's why it's, uh, you know, you take more risk if you stake longer, but you get more yield. But in this case, we're going to go for uh, times 6% or 0 0.06. That's going to give us 29,518. And uh, per day, there's roughly 180 days in six months, 30 times six, yeah, roughly. So we're going to say divide by 180, and that's going to give us eh, 163, depending, 161, somewhere if you got 30 days, 31 days, or whatever else. So, so that's what we have. Now, if we take a look at this, let's say if I would have gone the full 12 months. That's interesting. So 491,978. And let's take that times the full APY of 15%. And of course we get uh, here, man, 73,000. That's how much I would gain uh, per year. And if we take that, uh, we per day divide that by just about 365 days in a year. Uh, per day I get, I would have gotten two, roughly 200 meld tokens per day, which that would have been about times 0.15, if that holds true, 30 bucks a day. So I guess not so great. I mean, if you really think about it, so uh, I'll take it uh, and it is, it is what it is. So also the last question, and I should have mentioned this beginning is if you weren't lucky enough to get into the, the stake pool, uh, that's okay. If you want to buy meld, uh, you just go to meld.com at the very top here, it says how to buy meld. And you click on that and it'll tell you this is where you can go sunny swap moosely which are de which are dexes uh on the cardano uh, blockchain and they're also on a centralized exchange BitTrue, fmfw bquant hit btc changely wow changely pro maldex uh so they're all there as far as decentralized and centralized and it's up to you uh if it's something that you want to invest into so that is it uh, so if you have problems just uh, refresh and uh, should work out that far and that is it for today so look i know it was uh, a little bit uh, longer of a video it's because i wanted to to really just go over uh, everything that you needed to know about how to use how to download nami how to use daedalus wallet the wallets transfer everything over so i don't like piecemeal it out there's going to be timestamps, so you won't you can you know shuttle ahead and it should be pretty easy like that so that's it for today so thanks so much for watching i appreciate it uh, consider subscribing. I'll need to talk about our time sensitive, all that stuff. And that's it. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.